welcome back. I um, you're probably gonna see me in this outfit a couple of times for videos because I tried to do a little bulk filming when I get the chance. Um, I wanted to talk to you about my eyebrow stuff. I have a lot of eyebrow stuff, not a massive amount, but I'd say at least 20 pieces. And I wanted to talk to you about some of the ones that I use and. I think I'll start with the oldest one I have, which is the, uh, what is it called? Brow Tech by Smashbox. And it had a wax in it, and it's a taupey shade. So it's very neutral. It goes great on blondes, and if you heavy, layer it a little heavier, a little brunettier. Um, I wear this when I want a lighter brow, because normally I like a darker brow. Can you tell? I kind of like it because my roots come in, see, and they kind of match. Today I'm actually wearing this one, this really affordable one from NYC, and it's an 876 brunette, and it's not too dark actually, it, um, it is a little powdery and it takes a little effort to get it to stick to the skin under the brow hair. I guess I could use the reverse technique of using this like pomade, it's not really waxy, it's kind of creamy. Feels more like a lip gloss, like um, a petroleum jelly. Um, but what I do is I use the brow powder here and I fill in the color of my brows. And then I take a little spoolie brush and I actually kind of dip it in to the brow wax and that's what I use to set my brows. And that's what I'm wearing today. Very affordable. I have to say it's under three bucks. I really do. Um, it's a, and it comes with tweezers and a brow brush that you can use in a GIF. So, it's a nice little travel pack, too, especially since it's so cheap, you don't have to worry about it busting up on you. Uh, let's see. One that I use consistently is by Smooch, sorry. Benefit, and it's the Browsings. Brow, brow, brow. And it, too, used to have, um, it used to have tweezers, a brow brush, and I think a little spoolie. And this side is the wax. And it's really, really wax. It's, it's a heavy-duty wax. And then you got the powder, which is a darker brown. And I like to wear it. It's a very warm um, look for me. But I use it all the time. Um, it lasts a lot longer than the NYC one does. I think the pigment in the powder has a little bit more wax to grab onto the skin and the hair. And it is definitely darker, but I love that. Um, I usually start on the top right here and go towards my tail. And then whatever's left is I blend it into the front of the, the brow bone so that I can have like a subtle... Subtle look. Another kit I have is from the e.l.f. set, and this is in dark, as you can see here. Um, the wax is a, a softer wax than the browsings, but it's definitely darker. Um, I think that would be nice to coat your hairs if you're feeling a little bit grayish in your hair area around your brows. Um, it doesn't set stiff, but it does stay tacky. And then you've got the brow powder. I have brow powder everywhere. And this is a, a nice, um, I'd say gray brown, which I prefer. I like the ashier browns to not have the warmth in my eyebrows that, you know, that makes you look brassier. I don't know. Really cheap. Three bucks. Hello. Three bucks. Elf is great for those three buck things that just, they work when you need them to. And I usually rotate that in. And that's it for my brow powders. For pencils, let me just grab the pencils. Oh, I almost dropped it, but like a ninja, I caught it. I've got pencils here. Pencils. You're gonna laugh, but I have this Bobbi Brown uh, pencil in gray. And when I'm really blonde, this gray suits me to a T because it's ashy, and I like I have ashy. I like my hair ashy when it's really blonde. Like I, I've been platinum blonde. And this just gives you another def definition. It deepens my eyebrows, but it doesn't make them brown. Um, Bobby Brown pencil. It's a nice pencil. And it does the uh, wonderful formulation. It's not waxy. It's more like a powder in a pencil. So it's just gorgeous pigmentation. If you have any of the shades of these Bobby Brown pencils, I suggest them. Mine happens just to be in gray because it's hard to find this ashy tone anywhere. And I will even layer this over a brown if I want to cool it down a bit. Um, and you can. You can take an eyebrow brush and get the brush to... Let's see if I have an eyebrow brush. And get the brush to the tip here. And you can see a little powder. I don't know if you can see it, but I can. P 
powder puff off. So, and then you can use it to, to fill in your brows with a brush. Wonderful! Love it. I don't wear it right now very often because I, it's not the color I'm going for. Um, I'm going to go back to drugstore. And I have two Revlon brow products. And I'm mad at this lid because the lid keeps breaking off. But I don't know if everyone has tried this one. The Brow Fantasy is a great product. Because it's convenient. You get your pencil on one side. This lid is busted so it won't stay on. But you get this pencil on the one side and it's a nice pencil. It, um, it's not too soft. It has some grab to it so you know you're going to get something that holds on to it. And then on the other side you get a tinted a uh, little brow gel that actually does a really great job of keeping the ashy tone in my brows. It's not too red, it's not too warm. And this one's in dark brown. See, I have a thing. I like dark brown brows. Um, I think this one runs for like $8 at the drugstore. And it lasts quite a long time. I know the brow gel always stays longer than the pencil for me. As you can see, I'm about not able to use the pencil. This one's great for travel too because you've got both of you got you got two tools in one and it just I love it. I definitely definitely love it. One of my top brow products of almost all the time. Um, another pencil I have is by Number Seven Boots and it has a little spoolie on one end and it's a very nice spoolie and a pencil and it you know nothing to write home about. It works. It's kind of soft. Um, I don't know if you can see the color. It's a definitely a warmer brown than I was used to. Um, so depending upon what look I'm using, that's what I will grab for. I do have these two Avon Glimmer Stick for brows. And I got one in tawny and I got one in dark brown. This is the dark brown one. And look, it's very red. So I don't really like that one on me. If I, if I was going for a red hair, I this would be the perfect match. It's very auburn. Nice formula, very creamy, um, it does smear. This one's in the tawny and it's very orange. So I don't wear those either. Again, if you if I was a ginger, these would be perfect. So um, if you're a redhead looking for a great pencil to match your hair, either get the tawny or the dark brown from Avon. And seriously, you can't go wrong. Look at that. Love it for the redheads. Uh, let's see, I have this one that I very rarely use. It's a Revlon Colorstay Brow Enhancer, and it's got a pencil that's a tinted wax and a highlighter, and the highlighter's supposed to go under your brow bone. I don't do a lot of brow bone shimmer. If I do, I use an eyeshadow. Um, and then the brow wax is a thin pencil, and it's a nice color. It definitely has an ashy tone to it. It just, I don't know, it, um... The application's a little choppy for me, um, so I don't grab for it very often, but I keep it because you never know, I might run out of brow product someday. The, let's see, I, I've already mentioned that Revlon's one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites is the Maybelline, love this one, and this was a medium brown, and gorgeous, gorgeous, ashy tone, um, very thin pencil, twist up. Don't twist it up too far because it will snap. Um, it does a great job of really just kind of getting in there to feather the hair. See as I continually darken my brows. Keep going, girl. Keep going. And it has a weird comb thing, which actually works great for eyelashes, but I don't like to comb my eyebrows. I'd rather use a spoolie brush. I don't even like to use those eyelash comber eyebrow brush duo things. I don't. I think I took mine out. I don't use them. One of my newest favorite obsessions now is from It Cosmetics and it's Brow Power. One side is a nice spoolie. We love the spoolie. That's my favorite. Um, and then this wonderful formula. It's a flat pencil that gets thinner as you turn it. And it's nice stiff formula. As you can see, it takes a little bit of pressure. And you can use the light pressure if you're blonde, dark pressure, See, it gets darker and darker and darker. Um, universal taupe, I think it's called. Let me see. Or just universal. Universal brow powder. So, for a high-end eyebrow pencil, this is a good way to go. I haven't ever used the Anastasia Brow Wiz. 
Um, this was actually um, within a gift with purchase, so that's why I got to try it. Would I rebuy it? I might, actually. I might. Um, I did jump on the bandwagon, and this is my third attempt at finding a color I like from the Anastasia Brow Pomade. And I, ha I ended up getting the dark brown because it had that ashy, ashy undertone. The uh, chocolate was too red, the blonde was too yellow. Um, and so, if I use a very light hand, this works good for me. I have such intense brows anyway, though, it's almost like, if I'm doing, maybe if I'm doing, like, really extreme makeup and really want an extreme brow, this is the way I go, but for everyday wear, I think it's a little too harsh on me. Um, I know it's the trend to do that ombre brow thing, where it's lighter and then you have the very sharp lines and you just concealer to, kill, to clean it up. I have full brows. I don't, I mean, you can even see I'm, like, I've got overgrowth brows. Um, it's just, I, it's a nice product. Would I repurchase this? No, I don't think I will. I'll use it every now and then. Um, day to day, I don't use that, though. I prefer a softer, focused. I have dramatic brows. They're my personality. <laughs> okay, um, I have one brow marker, and it's from Sephora, and it's called Brow Tint, and I got it in dark, and it's in a marker form. And I don't like it at all. It's red, and it runs. It's not waterproof. If it gets wet, it runs like liquid liner would. So I'm not a fan. I just I don't know why I keep it in my kit. It's right there, though. <laughs> Maybe I use it to put freckles on people. I don't know. I have one. What? This is an awesome product. This brow shaping wax in clear from Milani is amazing. I need to sharpen it, but you just kind of like push it over your brow and then like use a spoolie. And it's a nice product to really keep your unruly brows in place. And because I have big brows, they are unruly. And I like to keep them brushed up and out and to the side. You know how you do. You know how you do. How you do. And I like this product a lot. It's not, sti it doesn't stay sticky. It's a little sticky at first, but then it dries like to a silky matte finish. Not crunchy. Um, just a really great product, and I believe it's seven, seven dollars, maybe less, at the drugstore. Great pick me up. Again, now we're moving into my three brow gels. I have three. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, I used to use like the Maybelline Clear Mascara or the CoverGirl Clear Mascara for brow gel, and it got crunchy, and the tube when you kept putting it back in got so gross and cloudy from the makeup that you had underneath the brow gel. I was thrilled that Milani came out with this brow gel in an opaque package. And it has the cutest, tiniest little eyebrow brush. And it works great. It does get a little crunchy, um, but if you're looking for like a hard wearing, don't want that eyebrow to move until you take it off, this works great. Love it. Then I have this product from um, Femme Couture. It's called The Perfect Arch, and it's a tinted brow gel. And I got it, and I love the brush, it's so tiny and cute. I got it to compare it to the Benefit uh, Gimme Brow Tinted, and that brush is even cuter. I can hear my dogs eating something, I'm going to have to go out there and kick their butts. Can you hear that? And this, this one, I think... <laughs> Shut up! She's the troublemaker. This one, I think, is um, a great product. Um, it does adhere a little fiber to your f actual eyebrow, so it gives you a fuller eyebrow. It tints it beautifully. It's got a nice gray undertone. I have mine in medium deep. I believe it was $18. And then again, for an eyebrow product, I feel like $18 is a lot of money. But it does work. It works great if you're feeling like you need to tint your brows because the gray is popping through or you're too blonde in that area. This works great. You do need to use something underneath it because it's not an all-in-one product. You don't draw your brows on brows. Brows. Hey, bra. Hey, bra. You don't draw your brows on with the brush. You just kind of sculpt the hairs and make them look a little... It's like mascara where it builds up volume. It makes them thicker. And this one does a nice job of tinting. Um, it's a kind of a see-through tint, but it makes your eye sh eyebrows shiny and, like, moisturized looking. <laughs> Not dry and dull and powdery. Like when you set your foundation and you forgot to brush the makeup off your eyebrows and you get that 
overcast of a brow. Yeah, you ever do that? It's just me. Okay. Anywho, so that is my brow collection and all the things that I keep. I have a few duds. I just keep around to remind me that it's a dud. <laughs> um, so that was my collection. Um, if you have any questions about the products that I use for my brows, let me know. It's pretty comprehensive what I think I said. Um, I have opinions on everything, of course. <sighs> Anywho, I just wanted to share that with you because I've just been kind of, I've been revamping my makeup collection and the things that I keep I think are important for me to tell you why. Because, you know, I've given away tons of makeup return tons of makeup. These are the ones that made it and stayed. So, anywho, if you uh, have any questions, like I said, please comment below and let me know. I'll, I'll answer you. Um, like, if you would. That really helps. <laughs> uh, comment, subscribe, whatever. All that. It ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun. See you next time.